In this video, we're going to make the template for the gondolin glove. So what you'll need is paper, sharpies for the pattern, a pencil to draw on the leather, scissors to cut the leather, and the paper. So basically, basically how you do it is you set your hand down set your hand down and you go two inches an inch and a half let's just say an inch and a half all the way around and that's it for that I'll show you a little bit more after we do the cuff. And after the cuff, now for the cuff, you want to start with this end. Mark where your ends are. And you're going to flare out. And that is the rough pattern, rough pattern for your gondola glove. Now you can square it up. Put these two edges together, then you would cut. At this point, you can ignore that drawing because now you have it all square. And it's the same way with the cuff. Try to match the lines up slightly. This way, it gives you square, a square pattern. You want to be able to go over your clothes with the northern style, northern style pattern over your clothes. Then at this point, you just pick one side. You go about two inches in and you cut up. And you just give it a fold. that would make your thumb. Then at this point, take another piece, mark where the bottom is, which is about there. Now you 
have your rough pattern. Rough pattern of your gondola gloves. I'm going to make this up just a little bit more. exactly fit on the end there because you're going to round this off. You can either round this off before you start sewing or do it when you start sewing. That is your basic pattern for northern style gondola gloves. Now for a pair of gloves, for a pair of gloves, this has to be, you have to cut two of these, four of just the basic shape. Do not cut the thumb in, ignore this, ignore this right now. You're just going to cut the pattern out, and you'll want four of these. Now I went ahead and I've made a cardboard. I've made cardboard pattern. It's a little more durable. Now for your right glove, you draw one like this and cut it out. For your left one, all you do is you flip it around. Now you take your template. You don't need your markers anymore because you don't want to put marker on the leather. Now you grab some leather. You're going to get little waste chunks like this when you cut. This is not totally waste yet. You can use this to make your choker. Make chokers, make bracelets, necklaces, stuff like that. Use your, respect your leather. Use this up as much as possible. So you're going to take your leather. And in the event like this where there's a small little hole, you can still use that. You just pucker it, pucker it, and sew that little area. That's if you're tight on leather, tight on leather and still need to get it done. So you try not to waste, try not to waste as much as possible. You play with your pattern to put this for this little area here, I would use this, you just draw it out, then you cut it, then you place this, I'm just going to act like that's not there at the moment so we can show you how tight you try to use the leather you got to respect the animal that gave its life for the leather. Then you would draw that around. And you would do four of these. And this would continue down. This is how you would draw this out. You would ignore that cut that you did there and just square it up. So you cut 
two of these, four of these, and four of these. On your leather, as tight as possible, so you have less waste. Um, you'll get little sections like this that are fairly big, but not big enough to do much. This makes great medicine bags. You keep this stuff for medicine bags or even chokers, even uh, lace. You can make lace out of it. So I'll show you what I mean with the thumbs. So you cut your thumbs out. Cut your cuffs out. Here's four cuffs. Here's your two thumbs. Here is your here is your glove part. And this is what I mean by ignoring this part right here while you cut them out. Because you only cut two with with that in it. So there's only two that you cut with that. So these would be the two. You have to be very careful. Because whatever side, whatever side you're going to use for your outside of your glove, because you'll always have a smooth side and a suede side, depending on what side you want out, is that side will have to be on the inside of your glove, because you sew from the inside, then you flip it out, and the same pattern is what you do. What you do for the liner, um, I don't have a liner here at the moment uh, due to quarantine. Quarantine, it's non-essential to go to a thrift store and buy a wool blanket. But when you do buy a wool blanket, when you do buy a wool blanket, I want you to do everything that you don't normally do with wool. I want you to put it in a hot wash, wash it, then put it in a hot dryer and dry it and shrink it. That way it gets really compact and it's really warm and you use the same pattern, you just take off the same pattern you would be using, but all you do is you take off about a quarter inch. Not that much, just a quarter inch all the way around. Is That's how much smaller you'd make your liner. And with your liner, you don't flip it inside out. So it's stitching the stitching. Um, basically what that means is I guess your two stitches touch each other on the inside so your outside of the glove you turn inside out and on the inside you leave alone so all right so I hope I explained this well um, remember you only cut two of these and you have to be very sure so if I was going to do this glove here the smooth to the smooth, then I'd only cut, say, on this side. I'd only cut this one. So that would be my cut for that side. Then when you're doing the other side, First you want the shiny to shiny. Then because this one was a little beat up, I want that on the palm of my hand and not on the top. So I cut on this side, so I'd be flipping this over. And cutting here. Okay, now that we've gone through making the pattern, discussing how to make the liner, um, the next video, the next video will be how to start sewing. So I hope you hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you know how to make a pattern now. This is northern style. Uh, the difference between northern and southern is northern you can take off easier they're slightly bigger 
they're slightly bigger. Uh, the reason they're slightly bigger is because there's uh, trapping, a lot more trapping, and it's really cold, so you want to be able to get your glove on and off. You have to be able to get your gloves on really quick, because up north, up north you're facing minus 40, minus 50 sometimes, so you want to be able to get your glove. You don't want to leave your hand exposed that long to the elements, so you want to be able to throw your glove on quick without any fuss, so you just slide them on. Um, southern style, I've noticed that they make them a little tighter. Uh, it's good, but it's still a good glove, but I'm just showing you how to make the northern style gondola gloves. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and when we come back, we'll be doing the... Come back, we'll be doing the uh, sewing. Thanks. Bye.